Hello, my name is Brian Puente. I'm the support specialist for Adobe Creative Cloud at the University of Arizona. And today we're going to be talking about resizing images for web using Photoshop. So I have this image of this adorable puppy right here. <laughs> at least I think it's very cute. And then um, what we're looking to do is we want to optimize this for the web. I've brought up the information over here on the left hand side of my screen and we can see that this is 2.8 megabytes. And while that may not be a very big file size on a computer, when you're accessing content on the internet, large files can impact loading times. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to take this image and make it and compress it, make it a smaller file size so that it loads better on websites. Pretty good practice for any image that you want to put on a website if you need that website to load quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop and go to File and then Open then navigate to where my picture is, and then hit open right here. Okay, with this file open, I don't need to crop it or anything like that. If I wanted to, I could use crop tools. I could get the picture however I want it. How I have it right now is exactly how I want this to be on the web. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to file, then export, and then save for web. When I click on save for web, I'm gonna be greeted with some options here. So, what we'll want to do is we'll want to select a preset here. We'll go with JPEG low. And if we look on this bottom left hand corner over here, we will see that this is 417.5 kilobytes. If I change this preset to high, you'll see that jumps up to 2.474 um, megabytes. So let's go ahead and go back to low. This will make it so that your image is a much smaller file size and is perfect for the web. You're not losing any height or width, as you can see right here under this image size section, but we are compressing the image a little bit, which will basically take some of the colors and get them closer together and optimize this for the web. You're typically not losing that much though. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And then we're going to go ahead and save this to our desktop again. We're going to call it something different since we already have this. So we're going to call this cute puppy and then for web, just so it's easy to find. And we'll hit save. Okay, and that's all we should have to do. I'm going to go ahead and minimize Photoshop to show you the final image here. Kind of side by side. So there's it for web. So there's the web one. And if we go and we look at the info, we'll see that this is 430 kilobytes as opposed to the original image, which is 2.8 megabytes. So we've cut that file size down significantly. It's perfect for the web and ready to go. And you'll see, this still looks pretty good. And thank you for watching. You can learn more about everything we do here at the University of Arizona and Adobe at adobe.arizona.edu and on our YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day.